Bonjour, bienvenue en Australie à Southport Yacht Club. Je m'appelle Sonia Robinson de Easy Yacht et aujourd'hui je vous présente un Amel Super Marimou. Je vous invite à, à visiter ce joli bateau avec moi. Allez à bord. So what's all the hype about Amels anyway? They're pretty amazing boats. And to be completely honest with you, I would love to move on board and live on this boat. It's got everything that you can imagine having in an apartment uh, at sea. In fact, more, because not everybody has air conditioning in their home and dishwasher in the galley, a washing machine. So the idea that Henri Amel was planning on and the design of these yachts was so that they could be very easily taken around the world by just two people with comfort and easy, facile. So uh, let's have a look at all the incredible features that this Amel has to offer. The helm station on the Amel is where all the action happens. And the entire design was intended for you to be able to sail comfortably and easily, as I said, um, but also to make sure that you could do everything from the helm station, and you can. It feels like you're getting into the cockpit of a small aircraft, mind you, there's less instruments. So I've got my steering wheel, I've got my autopilot, I've got my navigation station, but I can still see everything that's going on. I'm not too distracted by it, but I've also got radar and AIS overlays on this. Um, here I've got my throttle, here I've got my uh, control for up and down for the bow thruster. Here I've got my controls port and starboard once it's been deployed. And here I've obviously got my new compass, new B&G uh, wind up speed instruments, another one down below as well. And my controls for the electric jib furler and the electric main furler. And then you can see there's an additional USB port there as well, drink holders, and there's some nice seats to go on here, padded seat rest, but I can just control the boat from here. I just love it. And I can see really, really well. And I know that I'm going to be protected from any spray. Um, and I can actually look up and I can see what's going on at my rig when I'm unfurling the main, which is here. So over here we have Grand Voile and Fuck, not a swear word in French, the jib and the mainsail. So it's all terribly indicative, um, furling out and furling in for the jib, uh, furling in and furling out for the mainsail. Here I have my anchor wash and then anchor controls here. So um, I've got my Raymarine um, autopilot here, really accessible, you know, standby, auto. Um. Okay, so here we have controls for the mizzen which is manual. We have a furling device here, which has a pin in it. So you just need to put a winch handle in to unfurl the mizzen, uh, whilst you're also sheeting or releasing the, uh, the outhaul. On this side, you have the sheet, which controls the mizzen. This one here, the lower one, is the main sheet for the mainsail. And that is it. That is how easy you can control this yacht. You can do it on your own. Uh, I can see out whether I'm short or tall, I'm protected, I just love it. You've got social space for everybody here, lovely big cushions that you can just enjoy. There's so many different angles and vistas that you can enjoy sailing this boat in and yet you can have this lovely interior lounge room waiting for you down there. Now here we've got a little cockpit table which just sits on the back of the helm seat and underneath is the heart of the yacht. This is the engine room. And down here we have the Yanmar turbo diesel engine, a Soleil generator. We have our water maker, which is quite new. We have our hot water system and we have all 10 batteries, eight for house, one for start and one for generator. Plenty of pumps, 
um, solar controller and wind generator controller panels and regulators. It's all down here. So I'm going to climb down and show you because I love this space. So it would be warm after running the engine, yes, but I've got lots of space. I'm not having to crawl in and around. Um, I've got full all round, pretty much all round access to the engine here. Um, if I've upgraded exhaust hoses here, you can see there's a number of oils, nice little spot there secure for them. I've got my hot water system over here. Both the generator and the engine and the bows ruster have been recent and the water maker have been recently serviced. Um, and there's a new anchor windlass as well. Behind the generator, there is uh, a very nice box that is housing the house battery supply. There's also a start battery and a generator battery, both independent. Got the inverter charger, a solar and wind regulators and controllers. And we've got a water maker boost pump. We've got more batteries housed in here. Here, I've got my water maker with my filters and membrane. It's actually runs itself. It's on a, a filtration a weekly system where it just does a 50 litre flush. We've got gas alarms here, CO2 alarm, and we've got the main bilge pump, the electric bilge pump, and it's in a tube. And at the very bottom of the tube, there's a float switch and you can actually test it to make sure it's working because it goes quite deep down. And underneath here, I've got my seacocks and strainers for the engine. And a lot of seacocks have been married up together when they've got uh, hoses running off the main system. The engine mount's looking good. Uh, C drive was recently serviced as well um, with the Yanmar engine. A lot of engineering and thoughts gone into this, but I'll tell you what, that is definitely a huge bonus perk in my book. Et voilà, tout propre, still white t-shirt. <laughs> either side of the mizzen mast we have lockers in here we have life jackets and tethers and, and you can put whatever you like really winch handles extra lines and on this side same again on this particular yacht we've got lots of cleaning utensils um, there is a cockpit shower in here as well Ta -da. the Current owners put on this really nice fiberglass roof. They just wanted extra protection in all weathers and in particular in the tropics in the sun. This is pretty good headroom. You also have an additional uh, clipping in uh, point just here. Um, the lower windscreen at the helm station opens and then the two upper ones are giving us great airflow now at the moment. The best locker uh, is this port seat locker. It's quite a large locker and it takes an awful lot of gear, which is fantastic. We've got hoses, we've got grab bags, we've got the manual gusher pump, we've got um, anti-chafe for your mooring lines, flares, grab bags, drogues, sea anchors, more life jackets, all sorts of stuff in there, some tools, cleaning equipment. The conditions have changed since moving out of the cockpit. In here we've got big lines locker, fantastic. When we have fuel storage but you can put whatever you like in there the uh, anchor windlass low franz anchor windlass is very new fully upgraded and there's 94 meters of 10 mil chain and a nice big rockner anchor so this is our electric furling jib and this was just uh, recently serviced and it had a new motor put in um, and the main and mizzen sails were upgraded uh, in very recent times. The Genoa's had a new UV strip, uh, the Genoa's a couple of years older. Uh, the boat also has two wonderful spinnakers in typical French colours. It's got the spinnaker and a ballooner. The standing rigging and the running rigging were replaced in 2021. So again, we've got a very nice, simple, uncomplicated system with um, 
electric furling system for the main. The main is only a couple of years old as well. Um, and the outhaul furling line here, uh, all operated from the helm station as we spoke about earlier on. And then you've got additional winches here for uh, additional halyards and a unique Amel design with these extendable twist poles, which inhibit any kind of abrasion or catching of the sails in the shrouds of the yacht by pushing the sails well out. The Hensel is actually controlled, it's got two speed electric winches for both, both sides, so primary, secondary. This is the uh, controls for the traveller. You just lock or unlock, You've got a little uh, diagrams here, and put your winch handle in here so that you can actually wind your traveller across either to starboard or port side of the track. So let's go check out the aft section of the yacht. All of the stainless uh, fittings here have been upgraded recently. It's got this great gate for getting in and out, lovely steps in and out of the water or onto the, onto the dock. We've got these lovely fibred lass, um, newly fitted gas bottles as well. We've got this lovely extendable folding stainless steel ladder. So really nice configuration at the back of the boat. And this fantastic upgraded davits. Um, very, very solid for holding the dinghy. Obviously, it doesn't sit like this when we're at sea. But on top, there's three 345 watt solar panels as well. But nice and high, so if the dinghy is sitting on the davits. And we also have little um, clutches to make it easier to hoist the dinghy. And if you did want to, you could run them to one of the electric winches if you just wanted to be lazy and not pull it manually. Um, but there is a little winch here as well for putting your outboard on and off the dinghy and you can use this winch to hoist it up and then lower it back into the dinghy when you get to your uh, next anchorage. So we've got a brand new, almost brand new uh, four stroke outboard, 9.9 .9 Suzuki, which goes on the high hill dinghy. But down here we've got this awesome lazarette locker, which runs the entire aft uh, section of the yacht into the transom and we've got a ladder to get in and out there. I'm just going to jump straight down. I've um, got my more gas storage here. I've got my fittings, two shore power cables, one for air conditioning and one for the 240 volt systems which run into the uh, inverter charger. I've got ex extra room for fuel cans here. There's an, an array of different equipment, a spare propeller, but so much room for toys. You could actually, I think the design that uh, Amel, Henri Amel planned was that you could actually uh, deflate your inflatable dinghy and pop it in here when you were on passage. Um, but you know, if you're into kiteboarding or other types of water sports, you could put all your boards and all your kites and all your other inflatable toys in here as well, which would be fantastic. And dive gear, why not? Um, the current owners love their diving, so they've actually had a lot of gear in, on board as well. But that runs right back to here. So, very nice. Très bien. Très joli. So thanks for joining me here on board Sueño Azul, this beautiful Amel. I'm very happy to show you on board. If you'd like to give me a call, please have a look at the information online on easyyacht.com forward slash yachts for sale. And uh, get in touch if you'd like to come and have a look. Donc merci tout le monde pour m'avoir euh, joigné aujourd'hui ici au Southport Yacht Club in the Gold Coast Australia. Si le bateau vous intéresse et vous voulez plus d'informations, n'hésitez pas de m'appeler sur le numéro sur votre écran. Et merci beaucoup. À la prochaine. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please think about subscribing. It really helps us with uh, continuing to provide you content. And by all means, leave some comments if there's something that you liked or something you'd like to see in the next video. So until the next time, thank you very much. My name is Sonia Robinson, and thanks for watching Easy Yacht.